Hello. If you're new to Health Crowds, then I'm going to give you just a real quick uh, tutorial on how to use the database in a way that you can enter your information about, for example, a symptom that you have that has been resolved or made worse by a treatment, or on the other hand, a treatment that you've taken that ended up resulting in an improvement or a worsening of a symptom. And all of this will be done actually through the submit button over here on the upper right hand part of the screen. So uh, after your symptom or your treatment has been entered into the database, you come back to this screen and you'll be able to look up the symptom or look up a treatment and you should find that it's now listed within the, when you do a search on that query, um, it'll come back up. So the first thing to do when you come to www.healthcrowds.com is to log in because you have to log in and have an account in order to submit information about your treatments and symptoms. So I will enter my uh, information for my account. All right, I'm in Aaron Blaisdell. This is my account. Now I've already in the past entered biographical information. I encourage you to do that. Um, all of this is, of course, anonymous. Uh, nobody who logs in and uses the, sim the system will ever see your biographical information. Will never see, you know, they'll only see their own. Uh, never see health, you know, the health assessment information you give, healthy behaviors. Now, if they search for healthy behaviors, healthy behaviors will come up, but they won't say, oh, this person said this healthy behavior is good. It'll just come up anonymously. So it's uh, it's very safe to use for, for you know, divulging things. You might not want others to know about you, but you want anonymously to share that. This is perfect for that. Okay, so um, this is all the information in here, including my one health problem, which is erythropoietic protoporphyria. I will not go into that anymore. You could look that up if you want to, out of your own curiosity. Okay. So I'm in my profile summary page. I've logged in. I can now go and click the submit button. So I click the submit button and I can update my profile information or I could submit an effect of taking a treatment or I could submit an effect of avoiding a treatment. So let me try to submit an effect of taking a treatment and we'll walk through how this is done. Okay, the submitting effect of taking a treatment or of a behavior. The first thing that you'll have to fill out is whether or not seeing a doctor helped the problem. Now, most of the stuff when I use this, I don't actually, um, it's not stuff that I've seen a doctor about, uh, so I'll put no for that. But if it is actually an issue that I've seen a doctor about, then I could put yes, and then I could see enter some text information in the text box as to whether that was uh, helpful information or not. Oh, by the way, the asterisk, every field that has an asterisk indicates that that's a required field. Um, and then the rest of the fields in here that don't have the asterisk are just optional. And some of them will be more important than others. For example, even though there's no asterisk here, of course, you have to enter what your treatment or behavior taken is. And so let's just start and see what happens if I click into this screen. So I'm in the text box here for treatment one. And let's say what, let's, let's look at uh, something that I've done that has had a benefit to me. If I've learned that, let's see, meditation. Okay. Uh, meditation, meditation, there we go. Um, what kind of meditation? There's actually a lot of different meditations in here. Um, but uh, one of the ones that I use is actually just reading a book, like a sci-fi book at night. I find that very meditative and helps me fall asleep at night. But another one that I do is listen to music. And often I'll listen to music with my eyes closed, resting and relaxing. And I find that that actually is very calming. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll select that. I know it has had effects on me that are positive. Now here again is where a lot of the fields uh, might not be relevant to the particular behavior or lifestyle choice or, or treatment that you've chosen. So with listening to music, 
there's no provider name you know maybe I could put Amazon music or something but you, you could just leave that field blank that's perfectly fine I don't even put how much time I've spent I'm just gonna put it as a very basic of course these fields these fields are very useful if you do have specifics and um, and that makes them relevant uh, so let's see what I do I want to put in anything here I would say during the day is when I would generally choose to listen to music as a meditation um, I usually do it maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, I'd say approximately at, uh, right now, maybe once per fortnight. You know, I listen to music on a regular basis, but in terms of doing it just specifically for kind of its med meditative effects, if I really need it to do something specific, uh, that usually is about once every two weeks or so. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not even going to fill in whether it's with meals or not. That's n not relevant. I'm also going to not put in how many years I've been doing this or months. It's kind of on and off from childhood, I think, I've been learning to do this, to use meditation uh, or use music as a meditation. I can add another treatment if I want, uh, but I'm not going to. I just click on that little uh, plus sign, and it'll add another field for another treatment with all the same population um, areas to populate. Um, and now the symptom. And what I find that listening to music can do is it will relax me okay so a symptom <laughs> so symptom it will relax me which means that if I'm feeling stress here we go um, anxiety worry let's put that because that's really relevant if I'm feeling very anxious or I've been really busy and I kind of just need to de disconnect you know for a bit that's when I think sometimes putting on just my favorite album or some special album I know just really gets me in that meditative zone and quiet. It, it basically was like a reset. It resets my mood. So I think I think that's what I'm gonna enter here for this example. Okay, severity. I'll just say moderate in the sense that that I'll use this when I'm really feeling like I need it, need to have some therapeutic benefit. Um, what time do I do it? It'd be during the day sometime usually and let's see oh yeah uh i do it on some days as i said once every fortnight or so um intensity when occurring the anxiety will come and go or, or feeling stress will come and go but i think that when it's um so i'll just put that there i, I, I could have left that field blank it's really not critical to enter that information at the moment i can enter other information um but no need right now let's see and following the treatment, that is listening to music to meditate, then um, I generally will feel much improved. That really can reset my my emotional balance, my you know anxiety kind of stress levels and everything. So that's good. I'm not going to add any other symptoms right now. I'm just going to do very basic. Um, no side effects. I won't list anything for that. So let's save the feedback. I clicked on the save feedback button. Great. I'm told that my submission was added to the database. So now I can go to look up a symptom and I'll type in anxiety, anxiety worry, found it. And then what I could do now is click the find the best treatments button and see if the anxiety worry that I've just uh, been at or the the music um, listening to music as meditation if that will now come up when I'm looking for a treatment for anxiety and worry okay so first of all when you select the uh, treatment um, they look up the symptom I'm sorry the symptoms information you will see that there is a choose category you can either have all possible categories that treatments fall into uh, listed which is the default or you can select from one from among that list. So I can look at just all the alternative medicine treatments or all the conventional medicine treatments for anxiety and worry, or all the exercise or lifestyle treatments and so on and so forth, nutrition. Okay, so let's just do all, just to see what, what comes up. The other thing I could do is I can actually click these boxes um, to narrow the range of treatments shown to be more specific to people of the same sex as myself, so only males in my case, people of similar age, probably within a plus or minus 10 years, people with a similar body mass index as myself, or blood pressure and heart rate. Uh, th those are the options that we have currently. We could, um, in future iterations of health crowds, um, add more of those, maybe refine them a little bit better. 
but right now these are the ones that we built into the, the system. Okay, um, now let's scroll down here and it starts by showing a lot of the prescription drugs that are used to treat anxiety um, and worry. Uh, but I'm not really interested in those. Uh, oh, look what it shows up right here. Lifestyle, meditation, listen to music. That actually li is uh, within the top uh, choices. And so that's a lifestyle factor. So if I click on that, then I'll see that um, the anxiety and worry uh, improved um, from listening to music. And it talks in here the specifics about it. It was during the day. I didn't really add any of the other information in, but if I had, then these other fields would be populated with uh, either improving or worsening as a function of doing uh, that treatment of listening to music for meditation. As I said, I had selected I do it about once a fortnight, and I didn't put anything about with respect to meals. So that's why you can leave those fields blank, and it just won't show uh, those, especially if they're not relevant. There's no need to, to use those fields. But there you go. So you see, and I can click the back arrow to get back to that list. Um, because also, if you go down below the list of uh, treatments that uh, in that um, reduce the symptom of anxiety and worry, which was there, uh, below it is treatments that increase the symptoms. So caffeine, apparently. Um, guided visualization, interesting. Uh, astragalus uh, and some others. Not a lot of things uh, have been so far put into our database that show that they increase the symptom of anxiety and worry. But a lot of things decrease it. So we could go through these things that decrease it and keep their 24 screens worth of, of these. And again, if you wanted to just look at, for example, let's look at nutritional ones. I'm always interested in nutritional treatments. Um, Okay, so B-complex vitamins, green tea, vitamin C, L-theanine, maybe omega-3 fatty acids apparently, uh, kava, kava. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of nutrients that apparently reduce the symptoms. Um, and then there are three within our database that show an increase in anxiety and worry. So let me take those. Okay, so that is uh, the demonstration of both how you submit a treatment or a symptom and then once you've done your submission, how you then go and look up and query the database for the, your particular symptom you're interested in, or you could look up a treatment that you're interested in.